Yellowstone is one of the most seismically active areas in the United States. About 700 to 3,000 earthquakes occur each year in the Yellowstone region. Most of it is not felt. This results from an extensive network of faults associated with the volcano and surrounding tectonic features. Yellowstone earthquakes tend to occur in clusters, close together in time and space. This phenomenon is related to the transport of volcanic fluids along small cracks in shallow rock above the magma, a pattern that has been found in volcanoes around the world. Earthquakes occur along fractures in the Earth's crust where pressure from crustal plate movement and volcanic activity increases to significant levels. Rocks along these faults become so stressed that they eventually slip or break. The energy is then released as a shock wave, seismic wave, that reverberates throughout the surrounding rock. Once seismic waves reach the Earth's surface, they may be felt. Surface waves affect the ground, which can roll, crack, or shift vertically and or laterally. Structures are vulnerable to damage due to earthquakes because ground movements are predominantly horizontal. In Yellowstone, Earthquakes help maintain hydrothermal activity by keeping the pipe system open. Without periodic disturbances from relatively small earthquakes, small cracks and channels supplying hot water to geysers and hot springs would probably be blocked by mineral deposition. Several earthquakes caused changes to Yellowstone's hydrothermal system. For example, the 1959 Hebgen Lake, 7.3 m, and 1983 Bora Peak, 6.9 m, earthquakes caused measurable changes to Old Faithful Geyser and other hydrothermal features. Yellowstone commonly experiences earthquake swarms, series of earthquakes over a short period of time in a specific area. The largest swarm occurred in 1985, with more than 3,000 earthquakes recorded over three months on the northwest side of the park. Hundreds of earthquakes were recorded during earthquake swarms in 2009 near Lake Village and in 2010 between the Old Faithful and West Yellowstone areas. Scientists think these swarms are caused by shifts and changes in pressure in the Earth's crust caused by the migration of hydrothermal fluids, which is a natural occurrence in volcanoes. Earthquakes help us map and understand the subsurface geology around and beneath Yellowstone. Energy from earthquakes travels through hard and liquid rock at different speeds. Scientists can look beneath the surface and create images of magma chambers and calderas by reading the seismic waves emitted during earthquakes. An extensive geological monitoring system is available to assist with such interpretation. On June 16, at 1848 Mountain Daylight Time, the largest earthquake of 2017 occurred. The 4.36 magnitude earthquake was located about 9 miles northwest of Yellowstone, Montana. The earthquake was reportedly felt in the cities of Gardiner and West Yellowstone, Montana. This earthquake was the largest earthquake since the 4.8 m earthquake that occurred on March 30, 2014. This earthquake was part of an energetic earthquake that occurred in the same area. The Maple Creek Flock begins in June 2023 and runs through October. 
A cluster of more than 2,475 earthquakes was recorded in an area six miles north of West Yellowstone, Montana, and on the west side of the park. Series of earthquakes like this are common and account for about 50% of the total seismicity in the Yellowstone region. 